No way, we start with Igor Safiulan. Sorry, Igor. Good afternoon, colleagues. I've been given the floor. That's good. Well, I will talk about the economics of it. And there was a proposal initially. Uh, I was uh, initially uh, concerned, but then I thought, okay, I'm an engineer. I do it all the time. I uh, calculate uh, volumes. I send this uh, to the budgeting uh, department. Uh, then they bring it back to me, and I optimize uh, the statements and so on and so forth. And um, one more important uh, thing, a curious event, uh, me and uh, Homera were sitting uh, close to each other. She showed uh, that the uh, pants we wore were the same color, but I didn't understand it initially. But then she showed uh, how much it was. When she showed, uh, well, how much it was, uh, this is an international gesture. It was very elegant, and we quickly understood it. So, how much? How much do we pay for the beauty around us, the things we are dealing with? In my practice, more often than not, if I don't have uh, a project, if I don't have any data, I have only one idea, the area, uh, I'm asked for the budget, and I'm asked uh, for the number of trees, and the number of shrubs, and some other elements. And uh, only the documents uh, for this uh, helps. Uh, we can have the balance of the territory, we have the balance of planting, and the composition of uh, plants. And this is, this is what gives us some idea of uh, these expenditures. You know, the, we don't have any numbers like that for the Flower Jam Festival. So usually these numbers uh, hold for the city planting. Here you can see a split by category, so we can uh, see the rate of uh, planting, uh, the density of plants required. We can also compare uh, different types uh, of planting materials. When I read lectures, I always draw attention to this um, spreadsheet. You know, the, here it shows that 100% of uh, large planting should be used in the streets. And I always say that in some other territories, like the city parks or residential areas, uh, this rate of uh, large-scale and small-scale plants should be varied variable, and uh, this should be considered in the things we do, since uh, the different uh, life uh, length uh, of plants uh, helps us uh, replace them uh, gradually, the shrubs and trees. Unfortunately, today the plants uh, are getting old in the tr city, and uh, this is important for the public. We have to cut a lot of trees to plant the new ones. So if you don't cut the old trees, you cannot plant the new ones, and people get concerned. So we can use all this data to have an estimate uh, of uh, different expenses uh, to cover the plants to buy for a given area. For instance, uh, last year, about 900 rubles per one uh, square meters will be the money to be spent on uh, plants, uh, different types. You should also remember that we need to add uh, here the pay for labor for planting, uh, some um, hard landscaping costs, uh, maintenance costs, and so on and so forth. And uh, this means that uh, these uh, numbers are going to grow many times, so it's not 900 rubles per one square meter anymore. In this very case, we can see that we don't have uh, any um, 
balance for the show gardens uh, or parklets, the ones which are built uh, by the flower jam, unfortunately. This picture is quite telling. So this is the Tutikov metro, this is the city area, it has no relation to the flower jam festival. And close by at the Tutikovska metro station we have a, a show garden. When we say the show garden, we should also split these things. The show garden usually is uh, closed. Uh, this is a picture, this is an image, this is uh, a, a piece of art which is not used by the users, by the visitors. But the parklets which are built in this festival, they are used quite actively by visitors. And this is a good thing, which lets us compare the usual city territory with the territory where we have installations like that. Here you can see the same garden from another perspective. I'd like to tell you that last year, when I published uh, my opinion uh, on these gardens uh, on Facebook and what should be what these gardens should be called, I called them parklets. Comparing this uh, to the so-called tactical urbanism territory, when the land covered by park, parking lots, for instance, for some time become territories where people can have rest. But now I understand that even this uh, term is not a good one. Now I understand that uh, in the context of this culture, our gardens should be called pop-up gardens, like the pop-up culture which is spread with the restaurants and uh, shops and clubs. Here, quite naturally, for gardens like that, we should develop our own balances and we should calculate uh, the estimates. So, for the flower jam, I have a number of proposals, and this is uh, based um, on the show. So we should use the show gardens to pick the best balances and to uh, pick them for the next technical requirements. I'm quite positive that uh, this uh, festival is uh, going to live long and flourish, and I believe that you can use the data accumulated within these years to be further used in our work. So if you know the best uh, numbers, uh, we can determine the optimal budget for the plants and we can also make it part of the technical requirements. I'd like to say that the designers who make it uh, to the flower jam, so you are in a privileged situation because you are not limited in terms of budget. So you can be creative and uh, your artistic ambitions are satisfied. Well, in real life, this never happens. You always have a clear, you know, s setting of having a canary for one cent. And um, the next proposal maybe is that we should put it uh, in the technical requirement. So this is really important. And the third thing, uh, using the example of these um, uh, gardens, which are close to the cities, so it would it would be nice to use them to compare the expenses and how the territory is used. And these observations can be related to a number of observations uh, which are going to be made this year. Well, comparing things like that uh, with the city soft uh, landscaping and comparing these things, so I'd like to mention a few words about the project which is developing this year and is going to be completed this year, hopefully. So they started last year and uh, this is uh, the Mark Chagall embankment of the Moscow River. This is the former Zeal plant uh, territory and I'm part of this uh, project. I'd like to tell you that without having any project, the budget for this territory was determined to be about 300 million rubles per one square meter. 
for soft uh, landscaping, uh, they were going to spend uh, 7,500 rubles. And uh, this uh, should also include uh, the land regeneration. The territory of the embankment is the territory which uh, had in it some industrial production facilities. And uh, this includes a ferro-concrete uh, area. And this ferro-concrete had to be removed uh, with the soil to be regenerated. and. Uh, the problem was that uh, this uh, soil was uh, contaminated with uh, oil-related products. So this comparatively high uh, soft uh, landscaping budget was also driven uh, by the technical requirements. It had to be done uh, in the summer by the city day. We got this uh, technical requirement in May, so we could use more expensive trees, not the ones which were taken from the field, but those which have this spring ring system with this they are uh, kept ready for be pl to be planted in um, the summer and uh, they also uh, wanted uh, to have perennial plants uh, so you cannot uh, uh, plant the, the traditional pots potted uh, plants we used uh, the two two, three uh, liter pots for this planting. So we understand that the budget is quite good, but to go through all these uh, negotiations on pricing is not uh, easy because uh, the initial um, large scale plants from the estimate, they should also go through the expert assessment. And we understand that today we don't have uh, prices for these uh, big uh, plants. Every time the projects go there again, and they need to explain it to the experts that this exactly their plants to be used. And uh, this picture shows that uh, to compare different uh, categories, we put and planted from the onset the plants uh, we offered and the plants uh, which I initially used, uh, which are good for in terms of pricing. So that's the case. I'd like to say some good words. Now the construction department of Moscow is uh, introducing the price of the uh, large uh, planting materials uh, to the unified pricing list. Hopefully this is going to be done this year and we'll be able to breathe easily and to deal with the large-scale planting material. So this is the work in progress. And this is the initial situation as it was. Sure, the embankment uh, was uh, dealt with by some other contractors who were kind of uh, focused on this type of work. And you can see the difficulties. So that's the way it looked early in summer. By the way, the Mark Chagall embankment is a part of the huge uh, Zeal um, neighborhood. And the advertising banners still promise you this uh, uh, great uh, heavens. But if you go inside, uh, you see things like that. So, dealing with the Mark Chagall embankment, it was really important uh, to show that uh, we could deal with different types of planting material and showing that we can have a continuous picture. The general contractor is Mosinch Project, and uh, Mos Project 3 is the chief designer, and the architectural concept of the project was designed by the Meganom Design Bureau. Uh, the the Eska Atrium company was a contractor, so I work with them. And the Atrium Construction Company uh, said that they would adjust the most project uh, three uh, to get a better result. And uh, as I've said, in my job, I have to build the estimates for soft uh, landscaping and I have to optimize the estimates and let me remind you of an important uh, principle. Do you have any uh, experts on flowers, any florists? 
So we have a very good example of so-called um, framework uh, uh, bookcase. So here we have um, well, the principle of minimal cost and maximum effect. Now this is my approach for optimizing estimates. And uh, so, for instance, uh, annual flowers. We have 37 million uh, annual flowers and plants uh, planted uh, annually. So 15 rubles per each, I multiply this and I see 8 million rubles. And uh, so this is a lot of money uh, spent irrationally. Or say the same information, uh, tulips, bulbs, uh, 13 million. Uh, okay, this comes from the Rio Novosti News Agency. And this is 4 million euros. Okay, this picture is taken in the pharmacist's uh, garden. So the bulb uh, plants are a very good example of the proper and improper use. So these are the plants which should be looked at at a very um, short distance. They have very uh, short-term uh, period of beauty. And just imagine, 4 million uh, euros a year. This is inadequate spending. The only two places where I could uh, buy, uh, having uh, read uh, tulips, would be the Bolshoi Theatre Square and the Pakolne Gara Square, because this is by tradition. But to have uh, tulips on some uh, crossroads, well, this is not um, in place. No, many years ago we had long springs and the tulips started uh, blossoming after the 20th of May, but in May we have uh, special regulations for changing the flowers. And you know, uh, these uh, uh, tulips were removed uh, to be replaced by the um, summer flowers. So people paid for this, so the public paid for this, but we didn't see this uh, uh, blossoming because uh, this was replaced by the summer plants and uh, optimizing the budget. I believe that the, uh, the loans should be replaced by the seeded uh, loans uh, so we can uh, compare 160 rubles uh, versus 30 rubles if we use uh, seeds for loans. Optimizing the budget can be also achieved by removing the number of perennial plants. We should use uh, more broadly the plants in the P9 uh, pots uh, compared to the two, three liter ones. We cannot do it uh, in the pop-up gardens because we have the exhibition grade uh, quality. So here the requirements are harsher and we use the two, three liter pots. And, uh, one more thing is the different uh, nursery or different age uh, nursery trees uh, uh, for uh, mixed compositions. Please don't pick them from one row from one nursery tree, tree nursery. So we can use a good combination for a good uh, outcome. By the way, this is uh, made in Russia, the Piroslavl uh, tree nursery. They have sold all those birch trees. Uh, uh, to the Museum of Contemporary Art. Uh, this is uh, so they are really great. And um, well, this is uh, certified by the environmental uh, standard. Yeah, I'm winding up. I understand it's time. Yeah, you stood up. I understand it's time to wind up. That's it. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, I just stood on time. Thank you, Igor. I see hands. Good afternoon. I have a lot of questions. I, you know, my student project was uh, on uh, landscaping, and I came uh, to the local municipal um, service and I said, okay, we have this campaign, let's combine this. Uh, they said, okay, come, and I did, and they said, okay, large-scale plants. You know, it was a deadlock, the large-scale plants 
uh, the, the five meter ones. They should be planted five meters uh, away from the uh, um, block of flats. And I understood that in my uh, neighborhood, I cannot uh, find a single place uh, to uh, plant uh, uh, these trees. And I cannot uh, remove uh, the maple old trees, uh, which are kind of spreading on their own with seeds. Well, you know, I want to cut as many trees as possible in Moscow. Yeah, you can throw eggs and stones at me. Yeah, tomatoes, no problem. Yeah, at least I would have something to eat. But what I mean is that uh, we should uh, do high quality cutting based uh, on uh, checking the inventory and doing the topological analysis. Yeah, the Department of uh, Nature Use and the Department of Sa Environmental Safety, they determine this. If you have a difficult thing, if you cannot cut anything, then you uh, have to deal with uh, low-growing shrubs and uh, grasses. Uh, by the way, Alexander has very good uh, pictures, landscape pictures, when you have uh, uh, different uh, columns and the, the lower uh, plants. Yeah, this is a very good thing. But uh, we we have um, salt and uh, we have shade, and there nothing can survive. And I believe we can save a lot if we hire professionals, because annually the same things happen. I'm not responsible for the governmental um, effort of keeping the greenery. So all the greenery in the neighborhoods, uh, residential neighborhoods, uh, is something the uh, Zelishnik uh, does. Uh, so Zelishnik uh, is, um, uh, is uh, an authority on uh, all this. So we should deal with it. Okay. We are talking about it. So you talk about cost optimization and reducing the volume of pots from 2-3 liters to P9 size. In 2-3 liter plants we have at least um, uh, some roots and in the P9 it's really small. When you plant the P9 uh, pots, 80% will die and in Moscow no no one does watering. Okay, the quality of the planting material in the P9s, I can tell you that uh, this is determined by the supplier. Since now there are standards, APPM standards, which they will be approved in May and um, this will include the quality requirements. Well, they need watering. If you have a lot of uh, dying, then this is a maintenance issue. Or, um, yeah, we need watering, sure, in Moscow. Well, is, as you remember, when I talked about budgeting, I said that maintenance should be also added to the estimates. It should be added there. That's what's happening. Well, you know, that's the way it is um, arranged and organized.